Hi everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today I just wanted to take a few minutes uh, to talk to you about what kind of stamps you need if you are sending handmade cards through the mail. So I've got a couple here to show you, but first I wanna talk about the different types of cards that you might be sending. The first type would be a regular card that is just flat in nature. There is no dimension. There's no embellishments. There's nothing puffy. This is absolutely completely flat. This type of card would be like any normal letter that you would send through the mail. And these regular stamps that you can buy just like any other uh, postage that you need for a letter will work. Okay, so you can always get the default and then you can always find some fun ones. So definitely check with your postmaster about the options that you have for different types of stamps. Now, the other type of card that gets sent through the mail are these handmade cards that have dimension or embellishments. Um, we still are using the A2 size envelope. However, this one is definitely not flat. So you can see the dimensional aspect. And if this were to go through the regular mail system through the machine, the meter machine, it would probably um, tear up the card. This is definitely not something that's going to survive that route. So your option then is um, some people in the past, like me, have just put more than one stamp. And that is not necessarily a bad thing, but if you want to guarantee that your card is taken care of properly and that it's been taken care of carefully, then one thing you can do is use the non-machinable stamps. And these are so beautiful, actually. I'm really impressed with the Postal Service for making such pretty um, stamps that go with extra pretty cards. So anyway, these each are 112. So a sheet of 20 would be 2240. And I just purchased a half sheet yesterday. You don't have to purchase the entire sheet. So that was 1120 for me to get 10. And these go on the corner of the envelope, just like a regular stamp, okay? And you address it to who it's going to, you put this inside. And then my post office did um, suggest that if I bring cards in like this that are non-machinable, that I actually hand them to one of the window clerks. If I were to just stick them in the slots for mail, uh, it has the appropriate stamp, it has the appropriate amount of postage, but it is a possibility that it could get sorted incorrectly and then I run the risk of my card being damaged in the processing. So they did suggest just take it to the counter, drop it off, okay? And that way I'm, I'm ensured that this will get handled correctly through the correct route and processing. So there you have it. These are a great addition to your um, card making stash is to have some of these on hand. In addition to regular stamps that you would put on a card that is flat. Definitely do not put the machinable ones on these types of cards because then you are definitely paying way more postage than you need to. So, and I always encourage you that when possible, get happy stamps that kind of are festive and go with your occasion. All right, well, I hope you found that this information was informative and helpful to you to tuck away for future use when you are sending your handmade crafted cards. Until next time, Happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.